Hi everyone, I'm Mao here and welcome back to episode 15 of Watch Dogs. Okay, in the last episode we went and opened up the bunker which holds all of the CTOS and Bloom, all of their old equipment and uh, we are now using it for our own devices which is, uh, is kind of cool. Um, we left Clara over there doing all of her hacking and we said that we were going to go and turn on the parts that she can't see within the district the vi viceroy district or something so i'm guessing that's where the viceroy gangs hang out so we've got to go over and turn this district on so that she can see it and then we'll be able to hack from the bunker from the terminal in the bunker so uh, without further ado let's um see what we can do we'll probably just have a quick look around as well while we're here in the city We'll head down here because there's some kind of game thing, so we'll go down and see what this is all about. What's up with that? Run down and hack a few people as we run along. If we can. Nope. Oh, sounds like there's police going past, or. Well, that didn't sound like a police car. I guess they're not a fire engine. They sound so different in the UK compared to in America. So, right. so she purchased a telescope. I wonder what he uses that for. Because he didn't look like much of a uh, astrologer. Looked more like a perv. Well, let's use this ATM. Get some money that we've just hacked. And then we'll head all the way down to the coffee shop. Sorry, somebody uh, sent the messages. Didn't want to uh, see their name on the video, so that's why the Watchdog logo comes up. Personally, if it was me, I wouldn't care less if. Uh, if the message is popped up in the corner, but some people don't want that. Right, we're in the coffee shop. Let's go and find this guy in the corner. He's got the chess set, so we're going. Looks like we're going to have a game of chess. So let's see what we've got to do here. And game puzzles. Okay, let's go. Oh. So we've got to put him in check, I guess, and beat him. Well, that's easy enough. If you know how to play chess. There we go. That should be checkmate. Just make sure. Yep, that's checkmate. Guess we got three stars then. Nicely done. Thank you. You were crap. Obviously, you've got no pieces left. Come on, you can do better. Right, um, we will leave that there then. I'm not going to play chess um, and just do finishing moves on chess. If it was a full game, then yeah, I'm all for that. But not just uh, showing people the endings of a game. That's a bit crap. Right, let's... Uh, check in on this Wi-Fi or steal this Wi-Fi or whatever we do to it. It's the uh, the university. So they should have a decent uh, Wi-Fi signal. And uh, Let's head down here. Seems to always be raining. A lot of rain. The effects, so the the actual graphics look amazing, I think, and uh, you know you don't get any of the clipping of clothes going through the legs and stuff. It looks like when you're running, the actual clothes do move with you the way that you're running. I think that looks brilliant. Right, so we've got to stole that woman's car, and uh, let's see what we could do. The police are bitching about me on the radio. 
but we've got the citizen support so everybody's happy we'll head over towards the uh, the next mission and see what we've got to do about turning on this district I'm guessing it's going to be another one of those um, CTOS buildings where we hack in and we'll be able to see probably what's going on in people's lives as well the way that we did before when if you remember a couple of episodes ago where uh, we hacked into people having sex on a webcam it looked like uh, and we also found the cannabis farm and there was uh, some other stuff as well on the cameras I can't remember completely what it was oh the, the guy who pretended he was a zombie I remember him but we'll, um, we'll see what happens when we get to this one sorry I blame the weather there I did jam my brakes on but skidded ok so we're nearly at the mission now oh sorry I'm not used to the American roads I drive on the British roads you see so uh, it's different driving on the other side of the road in fact I've never driven on the uh, the wrong side of the road so to speak apart from over overtaking obviously but never in uh, for driving properly in real life something I'll probably hope to do in the future right there's a uh, a crime going on so let's go and save our okay, citizen let's find this guy and get this over with there's a victim now where's the uh, the threat oh here he is let's move so we can see okay he's got a personality witch. disorder and he's saying she's a witch Oh, sorry, we're a bit too far away from you there. I thought we'd have got to a. Never mind. He's uh, he kind of knows that we've beat the personality disorder out of him. Unfortunately, he killed the witch. Well, we don't know she was a witch, but he said she was. So you know, and that's a bit unfortunate. Oh, what's this? Um, some terminal to hack there so let's follow this round see where this goes just into a garage okay kind of weird can we open the door guess we could store our cars in there then if we need to Seems a bit of a weird place to just um, have a terminal, though. Right, let's go over this side and see what else we could do around this area. There's quite a bit to do, so, uh, you know, I'll head over and see what this other game thing is over here rather than go for the mission straight away. Sorry if you are just watching for missions, but there will be the mission a bit further on in the episode, so just um, just fast forward if you need to. Because I'm going to go and have a look at what this is. Well, there's another place unlocked, so still there Wi-Fi, and uh, looks like we're going to have a go at NVZN. So what we've got to do on this? Kill all the intrude invaders before the time runs out. Aliens spawn from wormholes. Drone evolution. Infant to a hunter. Hunter to a uh, queen, I suppose, like a pod. And then the hunters attack. And the drones attack us. And these are the guns we get by the looks of it. And more weapons. And we've got to collect power ups from the defeated invaders. So it looks basically like we've got to shoot shit before the time runs out. Let's give it a go. Um, yeah, looks a bit Saints Row 4-ish. I didn't like this on Saints Row 4 where it went a bit futuristic. Still, let's give it a go. Let's 
see how it is. Oh, don't like that. But we've got unlimited ammo. Okay, so I guess we've got to just keep shooting these little crappy things. Oh, they're turning to hunters. That's not too bad then. Right, so we've killed all the aliens there. Wave two. Right, I'm going to put the waves into fast forward mode because I can imagine that it's not much fun just uh, sitting and watching. We've killed them all in wave two, so we managed to do that. Wave three. I don't know how many waves this game's got, so we'll just keep going until we die in the uh, the fast forward mode so that you can uh, well hopefully I'll be able to fit this and a mission now into the uh, 30 minutes because I wasn't kind of expecting this to happen still on way 4 um, yeah looks like we've got unlimited ammo so we could just run around and uh, shoot them Makes it so much easier with the uh, the fast forward as well. Okay, we've got shotgun this time, which seems to be taking things out with one shot when you hit them. Um, yeah, that's the bonus wave completed. Looks like we've unlocked that gun for use in future. Wave five, here we go. Started with an actual hunter there rather than the little crappy ones, so I think they're actually going to be getting harder as they come out of these little wormholes now. Okay, so we're on uh, wave five complete. Let's go for wave six. The actual guns sound a lot more, um, <laughs> a lot better on fast forward mode. If I'm honest, when I was playing this on the normal uh, speed, it was like tick, 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 tick. Now it sounds like you've got an actual machine gun, which is brilliant. Right, so wave seven. Let's kill them. We haven't actually had any of them turn into queens yet, or the pods, or whatever they are that fire up new ones. So. It's not the hardest of uh, games, it's just a little bit fiddly. Oh, there's a queen, first time. Oh, and another one. Right, so we're, uh, we're having to kill stuff a lot quicker. They just appeared, they didn't come out of the wormhole, so I don't get why that queen was there. Anyway, we're on wave 8, we've got the shotgun. It's very fiddly to shoot the things with uh, with the gun that you get it seems that sometimes when even when you've got it actually on the uh, the alien the bullets don't seem to kill it maybe it's just my shooting but we'll see right we're on another bonus wave um, we're on wave 10 I think this is oh not just Oh, we only had so many shots that time. Guess we failed that. We haven't unlocked the laser carbine. Oh, dear. Oh, we're on wave nine. So, right, let's give wave nine a go. I don't actually know how many waves there are, so... I will try and... Uh, try and hurry it up. I'll put it on the fastest speed so that if this doesn't interest you, you can just fast forward to the next part of the, uh, the video. Okay, wave 9 done. 40,000 scored. I suppose, I don't know if that's good or bad for a first go. What were your scores on the uh, the first time you played this on this game? If you can let me know in the comments, so I'll know where I, uh, I kind of am. The way that I've played this. I 
I don't think I'll uh, I'll record this the next time that I play though. If I if I go and do one of these again, I'll uh, I'll edit it out because I can't see that uh, the people who sit to watch this. Right, we're on wave eleven anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys love it. If you love it, let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, if you like it, I'll leave it in. If you don't like it, I'll take it out. There we go. After all, it's you guys who are watching this. I want you guys to have as much fun as I am while I'm playing it. So you let me know and I'll do what you say. Okay, wave 12. We're kind of owning these monsters still pretty easy. They keep coming out though now as hunters to start with and these seem to have like a, um, like a shield on them as well. So it's not just an easy pink monster. It's got a shield. 52,620. Not a bad score. Bonus wave again. See what we can do. Right, that was a bit weird. I wasn't expecting that. And the recoil on this gun is absolutely shocking. That was horrible. That recoil on that gun caused that to fuck up. Right, well, we failed that bonus wave as well, so I guess I'm not doing too good anyway. Right, we're on wave 13. Let's uh, see what we've got to do. There's only a couple more wormholes, I suppose. Oh, we've got a person here now. I guess we've got to protect him from the aliens as well. That's not too bad. If we just stand by him, we can protect him. That's no bother. Right, wave 14. There we go. They seem to be sat in the wormholes a little bit further away as well this time now. Okay, wave 14 done. Wave 15. Okay, they're kind of attacking the guy now. Come on. There's still a lot of them, but... Oh, game over. I guess I didn't kill them all in time. Right, so wave 15. Right, let me uh, let me know what kind of scores you guys got on your first go on that. And we'll head over now and do the mission. Okay, so we're on the mission Jewelry. Jewelry rigged. Sorry, I missed. I didn't actually see what it was. What it was called. I had such big hopes for this place. All that did was bring the gangs together under one roof. Loyalty to your neighborhood just became loyalty to your housing block. What about everybody else? They got in line, or they got out. I'm gonna take a look around, try and figure out what they've been up to. Okay, so it looks like we've got to go back to that area that we were just at, killing the aliens, and either sneak through and take out these uh, IP gang members. There. These guys are running the place like a fortress. Never but this is where them. Damien's IP address is, so okay. we've got to go in there and find Time them then. The and we can get a look inside. Right, so there's three things we've got to activate, it looks like. But the thing is, if we go in there, we're going to get shot at straight away. So, you know the rules, guys. We'll see if we can stealth it. It's not going to end up that way. It's going to end up guns blazing. But, we'll give it a go. Oh, he's got limited internet access here. So maybe he was naughty. 
Right, we've got to try and spot where the guys are in here. It's hard to profile them sometimes. Oh, he only scores 125 at the shooting range. So I think we took a guy out earlier in an earlier episode who scored like 500 at a shooting range. So he must be really bad at shooting. Right, let's uh, see what we can do. Oh, it looks like JJ took out his girlfriend. Okay, <laughs> so we've blown him up. Because he decided to wear a fucking explosive vest again. Weird. And, uh... We keep getting spotted by people over the other side of the map, which is annoying. Okay, let's get to this area. He knows that we're here. There's a guy up there as well on top of that building. I think he's a sniper. So what we'll do, we'll follow this graffiti tagger. And uh, see if we can get him. Oh, we keep getting spotted. I don't get how we can stealth this whole mission. Right, let's just get this graffiti tagger to come over here and see if we can go get him. There we go. That's for fucking graffiti in my wall. Right. We're behind this wall now, so let's move up. There's only a couple of people up there. Still got that guy who scores 125 at shooting. Maybe he should have a go at that NVZ N or whatever it is. See if he could score more than 125 on that. Right, he must be a main viceroy as well because he seems to log in and do uh, checking for viceroys on the internet. Unless he wants to be in the gang, and that's the reason why. Okay, let's move a bit closer. I think we can go in there. If we get in there, I reckon we'll be able to take him down pretty easily because his, uh, his mind's elsewhere. So let's see if we can sneak up and take him down. Got that metal steps clicking as we walk up on. Yeah, he should be able to go down pretty easy. <gasps> Hi! <laughs> Right, so that's him down, and we'll take his gun. And then we'll get down, start going down. It's an audio file here as well. Let's sneak around the back. We need to try and sneak around the back and get them three guys who are there. Okay, so we're uh, moving up. And he hasn't spotted us yet. Oh shit, how did he see us? There we go, they know we're all here now. So we've got the sniper shooting at us, everyone shooting at us. It's all gone fucking wrong. Okay, trusty gun out. Pop him in the head. Take that sniper out. Yep, that's him done. Another one. Okay, so we'll just use this terminal. That's the first one done. It looks like we've got to get to three of these. So... There's one more at the back and one more at the side. 
and then hopefully we should be able to find Damien's IP. I'm guessing he's in one of these flats somewhere. But we'll see. Oh, grenade! Managed to get away. Damn it. That hurt. God, they've got all machine guns and everything. This isn't good. I think they've called for backup as well. Oh, another grenade. Oh, it's out there. It was over there. No worry. No need to worry. No, don't panic. Don't panic. We're all right. Don't need to panic. Right, let's set him off on his explosive. He's going to blow up. Right there, we need to pop. Doing all right with these... Uh, doing all right with the kills. Oh, turn focus mode off. your head up. Won't put his head up because he knows he's going to lose it. There's another guy shooting at us as well from over there. I don't know where he is. Let's see if we get a better uh, angle on him. There you go. That took him down straight away. Oh, flaws detected in his comm system. What a shame. I hope that means he can't now uh, phone for backup. Right, we're nearly at the next terminal anyway, so quickly hack this terminal. Oh, is he shooting us? What is he shooting at? We ain't even over there anymore. I'm about to fuck your ass. Oh my God. Well, that's it, he spotted us now. Right, he's dead. There's two guys coming from that direction there as well. They were hard to see. Still, they're dead. One more terminal to get to. Just over here. Right, let's see what we can do. There they were. Get the fuck down. Come on. Hey, yo, you got a grenade? No, nah, man. I have. I've got frag grenades. Run. Run, run, run. Out of the way. That was close. Oh, run away. Oh, shit. That's going to go. <laughs> That's not going to be nice. Wow. Big explosion. I think he's got a bulletproof vest on. So, it might be a case of got to take him out close up. No. Yep, there we go. That was a nice execution. Right, all of them were killed. Let's run around here. And uh, we use this terminal. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. Oh, bollocks. Right. I will uh, speed run through this bit, guys. I'm really sorry for that. I uh, I really fucked up there. And uh, now this video is going to go over the half an hour mark, which I didn't really want it to do, but um, I'll try and get this done as fast as possible. Got to take them all out as we do it. I'll do it in speed, so save having to watch me do the whole thing again, because um, it's pretty much I did it the same way as before, apart from it's at night rather than the daytime can't believe that that's what I mean sometimes you target onto things and it targets the wrong thing and you use it and shit like that happens where you blow up still never mind we'll uh, we'll redo it
Okay, we're having a bit of a problem actually shooting that guy up there. There we go, he's dead now. Was able to use the explosive thing now then. Right, so that's the second terminal done. Got to get to the third terminal now. And take it out, hopefully. This time I won't fuck it up. Oh, that was a lovely headshot. This gun don't feel very accurate at all. Seems to be even when the actual target's on them, uh, it doesn't kill them. So, I think I'll go back to my trusty uh, Uzi pistol thing that shoots really fast. I remember the name of it. Right, shotgun actually here because these ones have got the uh, the bulletproof vests on as well. Oh, bomb. Okay, he's dead. One more guy to go. And boom, how's your fucking head, mate? Right. Thanks a lot, explosive pipe. Right then, we've um, we'll use this one now, and that's the job done. So we've disabled the terminals. The gates open now. We've got to unlock the CTOS tower. So where's this CTOS tower? Still looks like we've got bad guys coming for us over the way. So we're going to have to uh, head across this wasteland again. There's quite a few guys down there as well. So, oh, and he's calling in more. Turn, come on. God damn it, got stuck on the wall. Fucking hell. Right. Well, we'll just go behind the pipe and uh, we'll just take our time rather than shoot through it. Let's let the health go back. Right, we're back. And then. Here we go. They're quite a distance across there. That was a brilliant headshot. Okay, wrong button, focus button again. I'll get used to that. It's because I've just put skill points into the focus. Because I've, I've got no focus, obviously, so. Alright, so now we have, and uh, I'll focus on what we're doing. Right, it looks like we've taken them all out. I think there's still one guy up there. Or two guys, I don't know whereabouts they are. I can't judge the distance of where they are on this map. They're over where we've got to go to anyway, so... If we kind of head over to this corner... There's one there, coming out. Well, he's throwing a grenade at us, so he's going to get it. Right, so there's two of them just round this corner, so we'll take these out. They don't know that we're here. He just thinks we're over further over the back. And they're dead. Right, so now we should be able to escape. Or go to this CTOS tower or whatever it is that we need to uh, to hack into. Once we've unlocked this, this should then allow us to open the whole district again and hack into what we've got to do. An audio file again. And we're in. Okay, so it looks like this rack works for Lucky Quinn. And we've got the Viceroy's coming in now, so I'm guessing we've got to escape from them now because there's quite a few cars all coming in. Um, I think we took out one there. Whoa, hello. 
Hello? <laughs> yeah, we did take one out. So let's see if we can escape. Let's get around this uh, steam. Now they're going to be chasing us down. So let's go. Typical nighttime race around the city. Use the lights and neutralise them out. There we go, there's one or two of them gone. Still got one chasing us. I think he's in an actual faster car than what we're in. We're in some shitty people carrier thing. Looks like that. Should still be able to escape, no problem. Fire that. Work. Okay, so he's going to chase us across this wasteland. Oh, jump. Oh, that was close. And he went into the sea. Awesome. There we go. And with that, I'm going to drive back to our base. I know that this um, episode's been a bit of a... Uh, Thank you. A mishmash of you really came through. watching at speed and uh, getting through it. I know no, that it's um, not the best. Started. I'm really sorry about I that. I thought it would be produced a bit better than this. My sister back. But answer, that jump at the end then? kind of makes up for it. Well, every single we're back at the base. I will, uh, in future, try You're and plan there. my time a little yeah. bit better. I'm, I'm here. Okay, I'll see you soon. And uh, hopefully next time we won't need to fast forward stuff so that it fits into the episode. I mean, I could have edited out the one where I failed, but I think you guys want to see the whole video, really. So there we go. If you don't, let me know in the comments. If you don't, if you enjoyed the fast forward, then let me know. If you didn't, let me know. And. Uh, I can sort it out in the next That's couple of episodes. Anyway, let's see what Tobias yeah, has got to say. There's the vigilante voice. It scared the shit out of me the first time I heard it. Listen, I got something that might interest somebody like you. I found out the police are busy putting more guns onto the streets. What are you talking about? I've been listening in. They're selling crates full of a man undercover. The question is, why? And and wh where? And who? Tobias. Right, uh, right. I'll show you where the sales went down, but you'll have to do the digging. Here's the deal, though. I want a nod in your manifesto. I don't have a manifesto. <laughs> you will. Okay, so we've got to now find weapons crates as well, which is another collectible that we can get. Anyway, here's the new audio file for this base that we're at. I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you on the next episode of Watch Dogs. Until then, bye for now. Okay, so if you liked this episode of Watch Dogs, then uh, hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Follow me, like me and add me on Twitter, Google and Facebook. Sometimes I do streams and live streaming on Ustream and Twitch, so if you want to head over there and hit up ML, I should be on there most days. 
and if you want to see the next episode click on the bottom corner now till next time bye for now